Uh, well, so we are back in this time. We have a nice job here, yeah? So check. Huh? Candy for you. So this job is coming from uh, from a computer shop. Uh, and uh, it's, a, it's just, you know, a simple, basic job. Okay, so what we have to do is to replace the USB port. But, you know, I know it's looking simple, but can be complicated. Just because here you have like a switch, plastic. Here is another plastic, uh, you know, the headphones connector. Here is the power button. And on the other side, you have a bunch of connectors. You know what I mean? I mean, any mistake you are doing here, uh, this it will be unfixable. And also, the computer shop sent me another board with same port. You know, the people are so nice. I mean, I didn't, I don't have these ports. So if they will not provide me the port, I cannot replace it. So what do you think? How we are dealing with this kind of repairs? Huh? How we can do it? Because if I come with hot air from here, it will be, you know, I can melt those things. If I come with hot air from here, I can melt the same. I can melt the headphone jack or the, the connectors. So the right approach for this repair, I believe, is to try to isolate with Captain tape. But be careful with Captain tape or, I don't know, I heard there are some people using like aluminum foil. If it's tight on the board, yeah, the moment you come with the heat, the you know the the, the band can the, the 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 tape can start shrink or move, and on that moment it will move with your connectors. It happened to me, so uh, I know what uh, what I'm what I'm talking about. So I will say, let's try to isolate from this side, yeah. And uh, put the tape on such a way it will not have any pressure, like, uh, you know, to move uh, or slide or... Yeah, so easily the connectors. And now we have the jack. Like that. So what do you think about that? Can we do it? Let's see. So here we have the port, uh, I need a bigger nozzle, like that, yeah, yeah, and that will come with 360 degrees, 350 actually, 350 degrees, because this is a small board, and doesn't need that much heat. Let's just heat up the port. And the solder is start uh, melting. And we took out the, the port. Huh? Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Now we have to do the same with the other board. We have to take this port out.
and we will be doing this exactly on the same way. So we have to isolate, we have the headphone jack there. And we have the SD card reader. I believe that should be enough. Let's see. Same approach, yeah. Heat on the on the port. And the port, it's out. Mm -hmm. Perfect inside, nothing melted, all good. Check here the pins. And now all we have to do is to move the port back on the, the customer board. This here. So how we can do it? Exactly on the same way, you need nothing. But I will come with just a little bit of uh, rosin flux, just a little bit. To be sure it's getting soldered properly. Same, the port here on the place. The problem is, check here, so I have somehow to lift the board in order for the charging port to go down. And for that you can use a plier. The problem is the plier, it will suck the heat. That's another issue, well, hopefully we can do it. Yeah, like that. Yeah, now he's going. Perfect. And the USB port, it's on place. Now let's be sure it's soldered properly here. Okay, here is perfect. And here, perfect. Then we have what we have left this this one here. Perfect. Yep, yeah. all good. Now let's take the tape out. So the connectors are fine, yeah? We have to clean the board indeed. 
the power button, the jack, the port is all properly on place. Let's clean them with just a little bit of uh, alcohol. I know there are a few people they said uh, the roasting is hard to be cleaned, but I, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. After you clean it, actually the, the board is proper clean. Perfect here. And here is no rosin, it's no rosin at all. So it is clean or not? Hmm? Just say it. The, he the headphone port is clean inside, I can see it, so it's no rosin there. The USB port is perfectly clean. Uh, now I'm sorry I put flux, you know, I should do it without flux. But it's all good, I mean, we clean it. Here the inside is clean. Yeah, all good, all good. A perfect job. <clears throat> You know, just uh, just just a short video about how uh, how you are doing it. Capped on tape, not that much temperature because you will melt the plastic. If you have, okay, this is not mine. That's how it was before. If you have um, a bigger board, then spend more time heating up the board. But don't raise the temperature because you will start uh, melting the plastic. I use like 350 degrees. Yeah, 350. Exactly 350 degrees and 45% air. With like a medium nozzle. Probably it's like uh, a millimeters nozzle. Okay. So I'll say thank you for watching and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.